Howdy, I'm V, and let me welcome to the Beer Snobs Radio Show. We are a bunch of friends who are not experts, but we know what we like in beer. Our definition of a beer snob is someone who just won't drink craft beer. So sit back and listen to us blind review beers on the Beer Snobs Radio Show. Calling all beer snobs, how you guys doing today? I am V, and to my right is Damon. And to my left is... <laughs> We're missing Rob again. Who? Sorry, guys. Rob. No, 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 no. He said, to my left is, and he said, hi. Uh, yeah. yeah, but we know. Uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm you. No, you're not. a different name. I'm Professor. No. Oh, okay. God, <laughs> douche. Uh, <laughs> no, he's right there. You can't see him. He's really short on the chair. It's little Rob. No, we're missing Rob. Fuck you guys. No, we're done. Fuck off. We did it one show. We're done. Fuck off. <laughs> So, what beer do you like to drink during these hot summer months? Maybe you're outside mowing your yard, or you're at the pool, or you're at the beach, or maybe you're just indoors enjoying the AC and watching movies. Or you're indoors sweating your ass off because you're too poor for AC, so you got an old fan, and, yipow, it, yipow. and it, it barely blows on you. What <laughs> beer do you like to drink during these times? Uh, for me personally, guys, I love like uh, a good Rattler. A Stiegel Rattler is probably the best thing to drink. It's a 2.5% alcohol. It's half beer. Half like straw, uh, lime, soda. lime soda or something like that, and it's so good. Yeah, uh, I had it when I was in Portland up at uh, the Apex Bar. They had it on tap, and I was just doing cup after cup, just drinking it. It was so easy to drink, so refreshing, and just se- seems like something I could drink all day long and not have to worry about. And get, a, and I don't think I'll get a good buzz off it, but I know I have a good time and feel cool after drinking that. And cool as in feeling cooler, not trying to be temperature. Temperature. There it is. Yeah. Hey, uh, now next, <laughs> true story. Uh, German marathons during the summer, uh, actually halfway point, give their uh, runners rattlers, or in what I was gonna choose, a shandy, which is usually half half wise and half lemonade, and all fucking awesome. That's about as refreshing, not as like crisp and tasting, but it's so smooth and refreshing. It's, it's literally like the lemonade overpowers it, but you know that the hef is there because it's a strong finish with the wheat, and it's it's fucking amazing i can just do gallons of that at the time and i do damon you know in the summertime um when it gets really really hot there aren't a lot of beers that really do it for me like regular beers um uh, this may sound weird coming from me but that's kind of when i turn to ciders Mm. like uh like hard ciders like not the shit that's like everybody's making now like some of the classics like a good hard hornsby is is I don't know what it is. It's just it, it's. I mean, honestly, I prefer to even just brew my own. And wow. me, I've had friends, uh, a couple friends in the past. We used to brew, uh, we used to brew ciders, and we would pop them in the summer. And it's been a while because he moved. He had all the he had the cheesecloth and the like. We used to do it from scratch. It was awesome. But um, there's not a lot of as good as the, sh- the stuff we made. But I'd say uh, maybe Hornsby's like the, the the darker one, the harder one comes close. But yeah, no, it's it's something about the heat. Um, it just that that nice crisp apple flavor, uh, intentional apple flavor, <laughs> unlike the shitty beers we sometimes try on the show. Uh, it tastes so good. It tastes so good, especially when it's got that hard. Al- you, you can actually taste that level of alcohol in it, where you could taste the alcohol. That tastes good together. I don't know why. Always, always tastes good to me. All right. Well, if you have a if you have an opinion on this, put it on our Facebook page underneath this web underneath this episode. Beer number one. Beer number one looks like a brown. Oh my god! It smells like it a delicious like brown. A brown. Oh, it smells wow. delicious. Mm-hmm, delicious. I'm trying to think if it's molasses or if it's brown sugar, but I'm getting. Oh god! Get a nice head. <sighs> smells like I'm enjoying this head right now, actually. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. That's a that's a decent brown. Okay, is that toffee? Because it's <laughs> really relaxing. It's really good. I, I'm tasting maybe a a wood barrel. It's slight, if anything. I, I'm not getting a real heavy, like barrel aged uh, flavor to it. No, but I taste it tastes it tastes like barrel slightly. Like I'm getting a tiny little wood. I'm not getting the wood. No, it's just there's something. If it's not wood, then what is it? It's uh, what is that? I'm thrown that's, off. This that's is more. Very this more of a. There's something that has that more. I would say kind of that burnt, like slightly burnt, bitter flavor. Smoky, not yeah, not. that's a calm kind of a smokiness. That's why I mean, I, I was kind of thrown off thinking maybe it might have been wood barrel, but oh, no. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a but brown, barrel, it's definitely a good brown. Barrel aged or barrel, you know, made really stands out in a beer. If it's slight, it, it's 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 got to be, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not if it's there, it's slight. If it's there, it's slight. It's not like super long aged, 
but I mean, it. it I, I don't know what it is, but it's good. It's not the best thing ever, but it's no. it's re- really good for a brown. It's right. a nice color, uh, nice taste. It's not bad. Nice taste, good head, yeah. good good look. This is uh, this is all right. I'm trying to think any other defining taste. I'm, I want to say like brown sugar. I get a slight taste on the back end, with that slight barrel taste coming in the front. I would say it would be more maybe just a touch of molasses and brown yeah. sugar. Molasses, yeah, that too. Good aftertaste too. Really good, good finish. Aftertaste. Good finish. Really good yeah. This, yeah, this is all right for brown. Let's let's should we get the reveal? Might as well. Let's drill. Oh, oh, it's good. And what we have in front of us is Big Sky Brewing Company Moostrool. Uh, it's a brown ale, five point one, a buck fifty a bottle. Moostrool is the world's premier brown ale. For a dark beer and extremely drinkable, it is an excellent complement to the most foods. Four different malts are used in this brew. We also do a four hop additions consisting of combinations of East Kent, Gelding, Liberty, and Willamette. Now, we, we reviewed this uh, on the first iteration of the show way years back ago. When, years ago. Like, what what year was that? Uh, I, I went to Montana and brought it back. That's how long ago. I think that was 09, 08, 09. Yeah, was like, that was when we all used to gra- oh, that was when we all used to gather in front of uh, in front of a Mac. Uh, <laughs> yeah. when we had no microphones. Them were the days. It, it was 08 damn. because I got my house in 09. So, yeah, that was damn, damn, really. That was like six years ago. Yeah, and the thing is, back then we gave this, we all gave this a pretty much a stupendous review yeah. on this one. And it stands. And we've, and the thing is, we have our tastes have matured since then. Still a good beer to us. This thing holds the test of time. I mean, it's a solid yeah. brown. Granted, five years isn't necessarily a long time, but. Six. Six, six years. Yeah. It's still, it's fantastic. Well, you know, the, so the, the best thing about it is that means that they do great beer and it stands still. Let's talk about, let's talk about the bottle real quick. Because <laughs> this bottle Fucking is a awesome. silly bottle. It's, it's, just, bottle. it's just a picture. It's like a mountain backdrop. And there's a moose standing in what looks like a lake. Drooling. And he's just like a butt. Like, it's not even drooling. It's like a waterfall coming out of his mouth. And by the way, this I have a moose <laughs> drool glass. This is my daughter's favorite glass she uses every day. Yes. I want to, Daddy, yeah. what's a moose drool? I want the moose drool glass. She goes, that's hers. So, hey. <laughs> but yeah, brown bottle, obviously a good thing. And yeah, the, the moose drool is the moose on it. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty much self-explanatory. Simple. Yeah, that's it's really good. I, I, I'm impressed, actually. I, I'm, I'm impressed that over the years our taste has changed and we still think this is a great beer. That, that, that's impressive to me. But we got beer number two. Beer number two. Numero dos. Oh, boy. I know what that, that, that look is. That's a coffee look. I know not have to smell it. I know that's a coffee look. Got a nice little. It's got a darker head, definitely. Come on, B. Oh, man. Now, that is dark. It's got that brown. It's just barely orange around the tips. Swirling it won't make the coffee go away. I don't smell coffee. Damn it. Yeah, it just means it's dark, man. Dark, it's dark it's chocolate. Dark. This is a you know a good. It's a good chocolate smell to it. Might be a stout. You never know. I don't get uh, chocolate I, either. I do. I'm not smelling chocolate. Uh, it's it's in there. It's a dark chocolate. It is smooth. This is like velvet on your tongue. Ooh, Ooh that's a good sign. Cacao. Wow. Yeah. See, it is a dark chocolate. Cacao. This, this is this is smooth. I like this. What, whatever this is. Oh, that's almost like chocolate milk. Smoky. Baby. Yes, it's smoky. It's chocolatey, like well, like again, a cacao chocolatey. Even um, that, it's a good bitter taste on the back, like chocolate bitter on the back of the throat. I'm it's thinking a good um, one. I'm thinking, um, not a stout, a porter. Yeah, it's this this reeks of porter. And it's in damn a very good, good way. whatever this is. Whatever very this good is way. good. We have been blessed oh. with two good beers this show. I, I fear for the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last show we did was horrible. Like, are you glad that was a week ago? That was that was awful, you know. But now <laughs> I don't. Uh... Oh God, this! I mean, look at look at the way it coats the glass too. Look at that, it's just beautiful, nice, thick, dark, roasty, I, smoky, chocolatey porter. I almost want to take a guess, but what is it? What do you think? I'm thinking it's like I really, really want to say Hangar Twenty Four's chocolate porter. I don't know about that, but. I think it come out a lot more chocolate. You think so? Yeah, I think there was yeah, a high, heavier yeah. chocolate presence in that one. Yeah, a lot more chocolate. It's been a while, but I mean, who knows? What a go- oh, and a good finish too. <laughs> yeah, baby, just do it. Enjoy it. Let it trickle down your throat. Open your throat. Okay, you need to relax, man. It's not. It's <laughs> real smooth, really good. This Super. is a great Super. beer. Super. Oh God, damn! I now want this more. is going to be a hard one to choose. Well, let's let's get the reveal. And what we have is Eel wow. River Brewing Company, Eel River Porter. Have we Damn. done this one too? 
I don't think no. we have. No, we did the Asi Asi. Ah, uh, yeah, that's our by Eel River. Okay. Yeah. This certified organic porter uses a complex blend of five malts and complements that highlights one another in a harmonious mixture. While decidedly robust in the porter category, Eel River Brewing Company's porter has none of the harsh characteristics often associated with dark ales. Instead, you'll find a rich, smooth beer with suggestions of chocolate and just a hint of coffee. So smooth and malty, this porter will even convert the non-dark beer drinker. They have food pairings on here, too. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, they have it on the side North, of the Northern California in the house, Scotia, California. Fortuna, California. It says right here, Scotia. Uh, Doesn't matter. Well, their tap it's rooms in Eel River Brewing Company Incorporated, Scotia, California. Good stuff. Their tap rooms in Fortuna, and they say have it with a tri-tip sandwich or the pork sparrow ribs. Fine. Oh. For dessert, pair it with an ice cream sundae or turn it into a beer float. Fine. Oh, yeah. That, too. I would Listen, do that. I, I have no that. qualms against any of those meals. You know, I, I like this a lot. And the way they, they in their description, they said it perfectly, is that it is a really dark porter. It's a really dark porter, but doesn't have that harshness you usually get from a most porters or stouts that mm-hmm. that bitter kick. This this is really smooth. I like this beer a lot. I like it a lot. Where I think I'm going to start buying some of this because for for a darker beer with the flavors that came out, it was just nice to drink. How much was it a bottle? Uh, buck ninety nine. I would say it's worth it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, this isn't even yeah. like a that big of a bottle. I mean, it's, it's a solid twelver. Still. It's a little it's a stout. Li- it's funny. It's a stout little bottle. I was gonna say, <laughs> it's a porter and a Short stout little bottle. Short and stout. Yes. What about you, Professor? What do you think about this? I like you know, I think it's fantastic. I called the ingredients in it, and I think it was, it's awesome. It's this is gonna be a tough one. Damon, I'm, I'm conflicted here. Uh, no, this is this is an excellent beer. The bottle. Let's talk about the bottle really quick. It's a brown bottle, uh, two t- uh, two tier color scheme, brown and like a, I guess like an off white. Almost looks like a cloud, maybe. And then it's got the Eel River symbol above it. It's just big block letters says Porter. This is, in my opinion, uh, what a bottle should look like. Not too much, just enough. It's got your your company symbol instead of like some goddamn portrait or a joke. You know, yeah, it's it's solid. It says, look, this is what what it is. You can see, you can read this. Blind people can fucking read this. There's it's braille clear. on the bottle, and it doesn't irritate the shit out of you. You know. And just like with the acai, uh, the the acai beer that we had, like I think it was like last month or something. Yeah, that one was it was the same kind of thing. It was solid. It was different color scheme, but it was like two tone, just like that. I don't think I had a problem with it. it. This is this is what it should look like. This is this is good. This is solid bottle and, and and a solid beer to go with it. I'm I'm really impressed with these guys. You know the thing I'm more impressed with is that Eagle River seems to do all organic beers. And so far, everything they've done has been really excellent. Yeah. I mean, just way above average. I mean, and that, that's something I, I'm really looking forward to find more Eel River beers. This is something I'm going to start searching out, some of their stuff. I want to see what their browns are Me like. Too. I want to see what their their pails like. Me too. They have some really good stuff. So we had two beers tonight. Uh, beer number one was the Moose Drool from Big Sky Brewing Company. And beer number two was the Eel River Porter. So, Professor, what's your beer choice? Again, this is a tough one, but... I'm sticking with my classic, and I'm going with the uh, Moose Drool. Okay, Damon? Uh, you know, I like the Moose Drool. I do like it, and just because I'm about to vote for that porter does not mean I don't like the Moose Drool. Exactly. I think, the, I think people should go out and try both of these beers, but if you're asking my opinion, what really hit me the most, what really impressed me more than anything, um, like I said, they're both high-quality beers. But the porter definitely kicked me. That was a good, good, good porter. Solid. It was perfectly blended. Loved it. Damon, I, I'm echoing everything you said, honestly. I, I think that they were both great beers. That porter blew me away. I think that was one of the best porters I had in a yeah. long, long time. So the beer of the night is the Eel River Brewing Company Porter. Yeah, and uh, like we, we always try to tell you guys, uh, just because we like it or we hate it doesn't mean you might like it or hate it. You should go out and try it. Especially these two beers, obviously, we're highly recommending both of them. Go out and try them. Uh, we really loved them. Well, hopefully, you will, too. So, I'm B from the Beer Snobs, and I'll see you at the bar. I fear for the next show. <laughs> Auf Zane. Calling all beer snobs, I am B, and you just heard one of our shows. Guess what else you can do? You can find us on the interwebs at Twitter, Facebook, G+, and we're on the Stitcher Radio Network. Be our friend on our social networks and find out what we're up to and find interesting beer articles we're releasing. If you want to advertise with the beer snobs, you can contact us at marketing at thebeersnobs.com. If you want to give us beer suggestions, you can find us at info at thebeersnobs.com or any of the social networks you can reach us. And as always, I'll see you at the bar. Thank you.